All right, this is going to be a lightning fast introduction to iMovie. Let's start with the first big thing, which is that I'm talking right here about iMovie 09. Every time Apple updates iMovie, they change the interface a little bit. So if you're using either an older or newer version of iMovie, some of the things I say here may not apply. So be warned. That said, let's take a look at the iMovie 09 interface here. The first thing we're going to notice is down here at the bottom, I have my event library. You can see I have my San Diego Wild Animal Park uh, footage uh, selected here. And uh, you'll see that there's a, a series of clips. Each blob of image here represents a video clip. If I hover over it, it shows me, for example, that there is there's a 10 second clip. This one was a 33 second clip. And as I drag my mouse over, which is called scrubbing, you can see this red uh, line, which is the video playhead, showing me exactly where I am in the video clip. Remember this because this is going to show up everywhere in iMovie. The other thing you'll notice while I'm doing this is that as I scrub across the bottom, I have a preview of the video larger up here. So these are little video timelines. And in fact, if we look at this, we see that these are video timelines where I've got one thumbnail image every 10 seconds. I can slide this over so I get more thumbnail images. A thumbnail image every half second, which creates much more detail. I can select much more accurately. Or I could take it all the way up to every 30 seconds, or even just one thumbnail preview for each, for each video clip. I'm going to take it back down to the 10 seconds where I started. The next thing I'm going to notice is up here at the top, I am in my, this top left pane is my project, and I'm in my project library right now. I'm not actually in any project. I could just drag footage up here and create a project, but I'm actually going to be very technical about this so you can see how this works. I'm going to click on the project library button. This is going to show me all my existing projects, of which I have none right now. I can click the plus button right here, and that will create a new project. New projects show up in several different sh shapes. Standard, four, 4 to 3 ratio, meaning the same shape as a classic TV. iPhone, which is, I think, self-evident. And widescreen, 16 to 9, means its width is 16 units to a height of 9 units, meaning it's the same size as a movie you would see in a theater, more or less. I tend to go with the widescreen because it looks classier. And we can also pick some sort of a template for how we want our, uh, our, our video to be styled. I normally start with none and build my own from scratch because I, these templates are all a little bit cheesy. So none, and I'm going to call this my first spectacular, oops, spectacular movie. And then I'm going to click the create button here. Shazam, we see that we're now in the project, my first spectacular movie here. And I can start dragging video up from my events. I can either drag an entire clip, which I can just select by dragging across it, and that yellow box selects it, drag it up there. I can also double click on a clip to select the whole thing, drag it up there. Or I can select just a portion of the clip and drag just that portion up. One thing you should notice is that as I'm dragging these clips up here, you'll see this orange bar across the bottom. That indicates the part of the clip that's actually in use in this project. This is a handy little check to see if you've used footage before. Once I've moved footage up here into the project pane, I can move it around if I want. I can drag it from place to place. You see a green bar, that's where it's going to end up. So I can reorder these once, 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 I, have, once I have brought them into, into the project. I can even, if I decide, oh, you know, I really didn't want that last little bit here, I can select the part I don't want and hit backspace and trim my clips. You'll note this is non-destructive. I still have all the rest of this footage down here at the bottom. Having put the clips in the order I want and, uh, or, and trim them to, to fit, and I can actually get very detailed playing with that video playhead there, I have now created the basis for my first movie. The last thing I'm going to tell you right now, which is important to know, is that you don't need to save in this version of iMovie. If you just quit iMovie, if you just quit iMovie, it will automatically save your project. If you don't believe me, check this out. I'm about to reopen iMovie. Chugga chugga. And it's going to open up 
and we see that we are back with my first spectacular movie again. I'll pick up here in a second.